There's no evidence to indicate that you know this year was any different than any other year and um, it's possible that just because we've gone into the winter it got cold quite quickly we got snow quite quickly and then now these birds are you know winter's a really tough time for them so um, even if they weren't doing that well to begin with or even if they were doing well the winter starts to you know kind of weed out a lot of the young ones right so many many birds don't even survive their first year they they try to get through the winter they try to find enough food and if they get it through that first year then they're usually you know pretty good to go from that point on but um, sadly you know in the in the natural world 50% aren't going to make it through their first year. So it's quite quite a weeding out process, unfortunately, in the winter time. If there's any depth of snow, um, the little rodents hide under there. And so they have to be, you know, very adept at being able to find them and then hunt them successfully. They don't have the option of stopping at the grocery store on the way home for something, right? So they've got to, every day is a struggle for survival. <laughs> Certainly though, in terms of the care that we give to the animals, that's pretty standard, the things that we were doing. So, you know, the physical exams, the x-rays, giving fluid, fluids, tweezer feeding, uh, you know, we have to sometimes tweezer feed them first, get them used to the new normal for them, because this is all like quite terrifying and new, right? Actually, we, we have had some people donating moose meat. This is hunting season too, so we have had some people donating moose meat and deer meat, and, and we're certainly um, open to, uh, you know, getting that um, would definitely help with uh, some of the feeding costs and such. But yeah, uh, with the increase in animals, it's always an increase in cost as well.